You know, there are a lot of stories of Thanksgiving in this room, and the one that we will not soon forget is when Michael English took the microphone. Michael had not sung at all since the next surgery he underwent a few months earlier. It took longer than he expected to be able to sing again, and he was starting to get worried. We were all thankful to see him back. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy When you talk about gratitude with these people, you can't do it without the voices of the past echoing in all of our ears. If you had it to do over again, what would you do differently? Bill, I don't think that uh, I would be able to change a thing because uh, God has been so good to me. Uh, I don't, I, there's a lot of things I'd like to do better, but uh, back when I was on the farm down here in Alabama. From one end of that road to the other, I prayed that I'd be able to sing in a gospel quartet. It's mm -hmm. all I've ever wanted to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I spent quite a few years at it, and God's been good. I yeah. don't think it changed a thing. <laughs> I'd love to hear you sing that death ain't no big deal, because you sing that out of experience, don't you? Yeah, we've, uh, we've had some pretty close calls along the way. Every day that I live now, it's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. The Word says if we acknowledge Him in all of our ways, that He would direct our paths. I'd rather have that than the winning lottery ticket for the biggest jackpot in the world. Is because Jesus promised me that He'd lead me in paths I've never known, never dreamed of, and He has. And I want to thank God for that. And to my family, what can I say? I'm the richest man in the whole wide world. The richest man. We have a guest quartet, mixed quartet, to do this last person. Notice the lead singer, okay? When in the future day,
You've lost weight. I have. Yeah. I, uh, I'd lost 70. think I gained 30 back uh -huh. accidentally. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing very well and, and got a lot to be thankful for today. You've been through a real year, haven't you? Been through a, been through a, a very hard year. But um, God has been so, so gracious to us and got a lot to thank the Lord for. Uh, Tarand and I were married nine years ago. Six months into our marriage, I got sick with end-stage renal failure, kidney disease, and uh, had, a, had a long journey with, uh, with sickness. And it, we were singing that song a few minutes ago um, of how that the Lord heard my prayer. I continued to get worse with my kidney disease and unfortunately had to go on dialysis. And uh, uh, a friend of mine called me and said, uh, Tony, if, if it'll make you well, I'll give you one of my kidneys. And he went through the testing, and unfortunately, one day I was sitting in the dialysis chair. When the call came, the kidney wouldn't work. And uh, so I went back to the bus, and I told Taranda that the kidney wouldn't work. And immediately she grabbed my cell phone and called the hospital and told the hospital, the transplant center, who she was. And she said, when I get home, I want you to test me. Maybe I could help my husband, Tony, because he's really, really sick. And we got home off the road, Bill, and uh, Taranda went to the hospital in Winston-Salem and went through all the testing. And on August the 7th, my cell phone rang, and the nurse called, and she was weeping. And, and uh, I said, Sharon, what is it? She said, Tony, I just wanted to call and tell you we got all of Taranda's testing back, and we did all the cross-matching. And um, she said, I just wanted to call and tell you that God has given you a miracle in your life. And uh, so they scheduled our surgery three weeks later, and my sister Kim and Dean was at the hospital, my pastor and all of us. And about 6.30 in the morning, they took Taranda into the operating room, and I got to hold her hand into the operating room. And about, uh, about 8.30, they took me to the operating room. And about five minutes after 11 o'clock on August the 25th, my wife Taranda saved my life. And I got better. Praise the Lord. So got a lot to be thankful for today because the Lord heard my prayer. I prayed earnestly for a year to God to help me because the Lord is our helper. And I prayed and asked the Lord to help me, and he heard my prayer, and we got so much to be thankful for. The things that I love and hold dear to my heart are just borrowed, they're not mine at all. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my life. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Hold back the curtain of memory now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have. Nothing good have I done to deserve God's own son. I'm not worthy of the scars in his hand. Yet he chose the road 
to Calvary to die in my stead. Why he loves me, I can't understand. Hold back the curtain of memory now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have I never dreamed I would get the opportunity to sing gospel music. Mm. There's no greater music in the world than to sing about the love of Christ and the grace and the peace of Christ. We have two daughters that the doctor said we couldn't have. That are perfect and healthy. So many things in my life I never dreamed I would be where I am today. But God has a purpose for me. God has a plan for my life. And I want to encourage you all. I believe that God created me to be with you. And God formed me to match you perfectly. So there's a purpose. Roll back the curtain of
joys and trials, work and rest, for calling us to be our best, or graces when we fail the test, we thank you for this day. 